Okay, y'all better come up here and get one of these. It's a chicken salad. down we headed on to two two mile run on this beautiful morning 5k training y'all let's get it good morning fit chicks and fit beauties good mother morning all right y'all so today i don't know what today is i'm, I'm thinking a little what i eat today but then also a little dinner like 
a little, I don't know, just vibe with me, y'all. That's what we doing today. We just vibing, okay? So, if you didn't see already, I went for my run this morning. I ran and ran two miles. I finished in a little over 20 minutes, like 20 minutes and 40 seconds, which is not that bad. So, I'm running a 5K in January, and my goal is to finish in less than 30 minutes. So, I definitely have a lot of work to do. So, I went and ran this morning, and now I'm about to make me some breakfast because I got to go to the gym. And then we're going to New Orleans this weekend for my mom's birthday. So, I do need to go pick up a, a shirt or two from the town center. So, I'm going to go do that as well. And then, yeah, so that's pretty much the order of events today. And for breakfast, I'm going to be doing some chicken, eggs, and rice. Just because I'm trying to keep the blow down, y'all. My stomach been blowed so bad. And I know why. Because of the shenanigans over the weekend. <laughs> Baby, I brought that type of person that be acting like, Oh, I'm so bloated. And I don't know why. I'm bloated because of all the alcohol. That's why. So, we finna make some chicken tenders. I'm finna show y'all what I season my chicken tenders with. Because if y'all don't know, when I was on prep, I had to cut out all the seasoning. And that just broke my little heart. So, we're gonna go with five ounces of chicken tenders. I'm let y'all see. Your side of the bed. All right, so the first thing I do is just pat the chicken dry like this. Pat, 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 pat. Pat, 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 y'all right, so now it's time to go to the gym baby and i just want to come talk to y'all about something because i see this a lot and i even saw it within myself as well i feel like just in with human nature when it's when it comes to deciding on what, when you're gonna start your journey i feel like the one big decision is to make is are you going to be the complainer or the doer? Because I know for me, I complain a lot, but I also do a lot. 
And when you're looking to start, you could either keep complaining about where you are, why you can't stay consistent, or, you know, just go on and on about the barriers that are standing in the way of you becoming a better version of yourself. Or you could just start doing. And I think that's just the real decision that needs to make, that needs to be made within life in general. That's even if you want to decide you want to start a new job or you want to take a venture out and start your own business. You complain that you don't want to work for nobody or you complain that your business is not going where it needs to go. Or you could do what needs to be done to get, get it to where you're trying to get it to. You know what I'm saying? And... I guess just the way, like, how I was raised, like, my mama always raised me to be like, hey, it is what it is. So, I kind of have a it is what it is attitude when it comes to, like, things that I want to do. Because whenever it's something that I want to do, it's nothing that's going to stand in my way. Like, it's nothing that's going to stand in my way. I might complain four, five thousand times. Like, throughout prep, I complained the whole time. But I still got up every day and did what needs to be done. So when it comes to thinking like, okay, I think I want to start my weight loss journey, or I'm tired of feeling like this, or I want to change, I feel like I can't stay consistent. It's so many things that are going to stand in your way. Like, that's just life in general. It's so many things that are, are going to test your strength and stand in your way of who you are now and for the better version of yourself. It's so many obstacles that you're going to face in between this point and that point. And the real question is, are you willing to put yourself to the test to get to that new point? Are you willing to stop sitting around and being in your head about it or getting up and making stuff happen? That's the real decision that needs to be made when it comes to just anything in general. And if you are listening to this and you feel like this message is directed to you, this is your sign right now to make the decision to put you first. I know a lot of times I see a lot of people that take care of so many other people and they rarely give their self time. And then it's like, when do you realize that if you don't take care of you, how are you going to take care of anybody else? If you don't prioritize your self-love and your health and your physical health, how are you going to even have the energy or the willpower or the longevity to even be there for other people? So as long as you prioritize you, then you can be able to extend yourself and help others. But if you're not putting you first and prioritizing you and fulfilling the needs that you need for yourself to be the best version of yourself, how can you be there for other people? Like, how? And with that being said, your girl on the way to the gym. Y'all, so I'm looking a little crazy by the head. So what we have here is I'm teaching my boyfriend how to make his own chicken tender. Uh, how to make his own chicken tender because he come over here roaching every day. So that means you need to learn how to make it yourself. So he seasoning his chicken tenders and I'm going to show him how to put it in the air fryer. So then if you come home one day and the kids be like, uh, Dad, we want some air fried chicken tenders. What you going to do? All right then, and why? And how you gonna know how to fix it for him? Cause of who? Cause of me. Cause of who? Who put in the work right now? I'm showing you what to do. <laughs> nah, cause of you. Though. They gonna be like, uh, uh-uh, dad, that's too much salt, <laughs> Willie. <laughs> they gonna say that's too much salt, Willie. All right, last but not least, I'm adding my lemon pepper seasoning. You know, this is gonna give it the taste to look crispy. I good. never do lemon pepper, but he it's his chick tenders. So. I'm gonna show him how to make it. Shake it up some more. How did it come out? 
Oh, what that is? Chicken teriyaki? Is the chicken good? Hey, 10 out of 10. So now you know how to make your own chicken. That means tomorrow for lunch, I ain't cooking. That's fine with me. All right, good. y'all so yesterday vlog did not go as planned so we're gonna make it a two-day vlog so i have to update y'all first first things first my hair point was at 10 o'clock y'all it's 10 58 hair not done that's party file number one y'all i woke up my hair stylist said that she couldn't she had to cancel all her appointments and that really broke my heart. It's like I understand that stuff comes up, but I really mind my hair that. So now, how am I doing? We leave Saturday, today, Thursday. And when I get super duper stressed out, it's just nothing just goes right. You know? So I'm gonna try not to get super duper overwhelmed. My goal is to decide. I'm gonna go work out because whenever I get super duper stressed or anxious, I like to go work out so that I could put put some of that injury off on something else. And then I'm gonna go work out and decide what I'm going to do. And today I'm gonna actually be showing y'all what I'm eating today because yesterday didn't go as planned either. I got so like my anxiety started to kick in so bad. I just sat on the couch all day. I had some footage of that too. I just sat on the couch and just like, it's okay to not do nothing. I, sometimes I be thinking I have high functioning anxiety. What is that? Let me see if that's a thing. Yeah. Let's see. Instead, high functioning anxiety, high functioning anxiety typically refers to someone who experiencing anxiety while still managing daily life quite well. That's me. I'm, I have high functioning anxiety because I get so anxious. Stuff still get done, but my anxiety never subsides until, like, I don't know. It just kind of goes in and out. So, right now, it's through the roof. So, this is what I'm eating for breakfast, y'all. I have a protein waffle because I needed something that's going to be good to my soul. Syrup and waffle. Some egg whites and turkey bacon because I did not hit my protein. No, I lied. I hit my protein goal yesterday. And it, it was so bad I had to make me a coffee, y'all. I haven't had my coffee in like two days, but I made it today because I'm like, baby, how long? Let's pump the brakes because it's a mess this morning. So I'm about to go work out, give myself a woo side moment, and then we're going to figure out if we're going to try to find somebody else to do the hair or we're just going to wear our real hair. Nine to my ten, I probably just go with my real hair. So update, y'all. I didn't go to the gym. I did my own hair, and it came out perfect. You know they say if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. So hair is done. I'm no already in y'all, but the downside is I did not fly flat on my hair up here, and y'all know I'm natural. So that means the workouts gotta chill till I get back. Now I see what people mean when they be like. Uh, working I'll be messing up the hair because baby, I need, yeah, I'm gonna need this to chill till I get back. It's almost lunchtime. My boyfriend, I'm pretty sure he's not making lunch again today, so I'm making his lunch, but I need something sweet before I start killing them Oreos again. So I'm gonna show y'all a sweet, low calorie treat that you could make. And. It's not too low cal, but it's better than four Oreos. Cause this is what I should have made yesterday instead of eating up all them Oreos. So we're gonna take a rice cake. I'm gonna go with one lightly salty one and then one caramel one. I know y'all hear that loud. That's the air fry. Once I eat this, I probably won't even want want to go. I mean, want lunch. I, I know I won't live, but I most definitely will go for a walk tomorrow morning. Just to get my body flowing, like I really just need a good, you know. So this is the lightly salted one. This one is 35 calories. Caramel. This one is a little high in calorie. This one is 50 calories instead of 35. So if you really just want to eat more, 
you could just do two of the lightly salty ones. Because when I was on prep, I was not squeezing this caramel in there. I was just doing a lightly salty one. So we're gonna add that one up. Why are they still putting the little ones on top, babe? I need a big one. Now the next step is peanut butter. We're gonna add some peanut butter on here. But also remember to measure your peanut butter. Y'all will be surprised at how many calories peanut butter has. Peanut butter is high in fat. One gram of fat is nine calories versus one gram of carb and one gram of protein is four calories. So if something is high in fat, it's gonna be pretty dense in calories, depending on the serving size. So we're gonna go in with this Jiffy, y'all. I'm supposed to have 14 grams. 14 grams is not a lot at all, but we're gonna do the right thing today. Today! So we're gonna add that on now. So I'm gonna put seven on one side and seven on the other. It's a little over, but we're gonna adjust it. All right, now we're gonna take a spoon and rub it in. Now, we're gonna take a square of my favorite chocolate, this Ghirardelli milk chocolate char caramel. And we're gonna split it a half on that thing. Then we're gonna ding it in the microwave for a little bit so the chocolate can melt. We're gonna eat that in half. <laughs> All right, now you're gonna put it in the microwave just for a little bit. Because if you cook it too long, the rice cake's gonna start cooking. And that part ain't good. I didn't burn, I didn't burn the top of my mouth like that before. So we're just gonna do it for like 30 seconds. All right, now, once it's done, you could just rub it in. You could add a little cinnamon. A little honey if you got the calories and the carbs to do it. And y'all, this is literally like, it almost tastes like a Reese's, so. If you need something sweet, you could just do the two lightly salted, leave out the caramel. Or if you really like the caramel one, save, you know, save a little back for those caramel ones. And yeah, this is a sweet treat. Like, this is what I need to start eating for dessert. And not four Oreos, okay? This is what I need to be eating for dessert. And not four Oreos, because them four Oreos going to get you caught up every time. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. So... I know we only gonna be in New Orleans for two days, but I have so many options. And looking at the weather, I don't know if it's gonna be hot or it's gonna be cold. So I wanna bring something in between. So I'm just gonna show y'all some stuff that I got. And I'm gonna post this video ASAP. So I need y'all to put some recommendations on what y'all think. And then after I finish showing y'all what y'all have, what I have, I'm gonna announce the giveaway winner. Okay, so first things first, I bought this shirt because I really wanted to wear it. This shirt was just too cute to me, y'all. I got this from Forever 21. And I just love the blue sparkles on it. It's a huge shirt. So, of course, it's an oversized t-shirt. Got that from Forever 21. So, that's one option. And then I also really have been wanting some cargo pants that fit good. Because even at H&M, it was hard to find some cargo pants that really just fit my body. Like, that would either be too big around my waist or be too tight around my hips or like just make my butt looks extra smushed in so i end up finding some at rule 21 so i'm for sure for sure going to wear these so these are the cargo pants that come like a little belt at the top and i got these from rule 21 a little expensive but i wanted them okay so I'm, i know for sure i want to wear this with a t-shirt or a crop top because, yeah, that's what we're thinking. So, any combos that y'all see might look good together, just let me know. So, for sure, the first outfit that I'm going to wear going to New Orleans, because it's supposed to be cold when we leave Houston, is this velour jumpsuit. I got this velour jumpsuit from H&M, y'all. It comes with the pants, cute, and it comes with the jacket. So, I know for sure I'm going to wear this there. And then I also bought this cute little white tank top. Uh, 
like just a simple white tank top so i have a couple of options so either this white tank top underneath because safe and say it do get a little warm i could just take off the jacket and wear a crop top and the sweatpants that'll be cool and then i also got this one so i really think this one will be the cutest it got like the little ties on the side that'll be cute with the brown one so yeah all right so that's the first outfit but when we get there it's always room to change so remember that it's always room to change and just to show y'all some a couple of other things I grabbed from H&M. I'm in my sweatpan bag. I love sweatpants because they just so cute. I got some green flat ones. I think you just put on anything with this. Any type of color shirt with some cute shoes, some dunks, or some ones. And they'll just be, you know, make it pop. And then you like the green ones? And then I also got some blue ones because I love blue. I got some blue ones. So, I even could just wear some sweatpants with one of those crop tops as well. So, we got options. I just got to literally sit down and put it together. All right, next up, I got these two big old fashion old bags that I have not opened up yet. So, we're going to open it up now. And my boyfriend over there eating lunch. So, you can just tell me what you think. All right, babe. Let's open it up. I'm so sad not, about not being being able to work out, but I cannot mess this hair up. All right, first up, this shirt I thought was so cute. Like, I just thought it was just, like, cute and classy on the picture. But sometimes with Fashion Nova, stuff that look like on the picture, it just, sometimes it come and it just don't be the same. So, it's like a turtleneck. First of all, who neck going in it? But look at that. That's a real tight in it. <laughs> Baby, hold on. Let me see who neck going in there. But this is the shirt, y'all. It got like little polka dots on the side. And I feel like it would look cute tucked in. Some either some high waisted shorts or some nice pants or even a skirt. That's what I was thinking. Baby, what do you about this shirt? You already said you didn't really like this shirt. He said he didn't really like it, but I thought it was cute. So that's why I picked it up. Next sweater. Y'all, we are approaching sweater weather. Sweater weather. So, make sure y'all look at all the stuff that I got. Because if y'all see some combos that y'all feel like would really just be cute, make sure y'all put them in the comments below. Because I'm open to... Yeah, this is so cute. This is a brown crop top sweater, babe. Look. I'm going to stop showing you if you don't look when I say look, babe. So, this is cute. Like, I think this would be cute. This would be cute with them black cargo pants. If it's that cold, what you think? Yeah, but what, what shoes? Man, I'm not worried about shoes, bro. New Orleans Street be, Bourbon Street be too, too wreck. Not, I don't want to say raggedy because I don't want to offend nobody. But it be too much going on on the streets to be wearing some clean shoes. All right, this jacket was too hard to pass up, y'all. Had to grab it. It's like a metallic. What size did I get a medium? I should have got a small. Look. Hey, this is Coyote. Oh, she ready. I'm ready to pop out for the one of them. That's how you know when you like something when you try it on right then and there. Look at that. This would be cute with my cargo pants, too. But I know for sure it's not going to be. Y'all, look how I look in the light. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Coyote. I got to hang this girl up today. I'm going to call her Jackie. What do you think I should name this Jackie? Jackie. <laughs> Jackie. It's giving Jackie. Okay, so let's zip this up because I'm going to hang this up as soon as I finish. Okay, it's giving me trouble. I'll hang up there. All right, next up, more sweater. I love blue, y'all. Like, blue just looks so good. I got that type of skin color that any color looks good. This is also a crop sweater. What do you think about this, babes? Let me see. That's hard. Cute, right? You can wear this with anything. She ready for sweater weather. So, when y'all see me in my sweater and my boots and my tight jeans, just know I told y'all I was ready. All right, next up. Okay, y'all, this really look different, but I hope it looks different on my body. So, it's just like a, a body shirt. And I just thought it was cute. But in person, I don't know how it looks to y'all, but it looks kind of green to me. This was green. Look, babe. See the titties? 
It's cute. It's green. I thought it was more silver online, but it's still cute. It still would look nice with some jeans and some thigh high boots. That's what I was look. I thought I was going for. Them. I don't know not. All right, next up, red. I got some black and red fours that I would love to wear with this. Right? That's what I got. Another crop sweater. That mean the mid section just gonna be cold. That's what it's meaning, y'all. But yeah, coyotes. Lights, babes. Ten out of ten. All right, next bag. And then I gotta eat because I'm hungry. My little rice case ain't do the trick, y'all. I'm hungry now. Last bag. Oh. Okay, y'all. So, I'm wearing this on Thanksgiving. I already had this planned out. I'm wearing this on Thanksgiving. So, when y'all see me on Thanksgiving, just know I told y'all I was wearing this, this right here. I plan on my Thanksgiving fit far, far in advance. Cute. Look at that, babe. And then it got like little pearls on it, y'all. I thought that was so cute, y'all. This is going to be so cute with some jeans. And I'm either going to wear some tennis shoes. I got some new ones. Oh, them, them green ones, ones or dunks that I bought? Them green ones. Dunks. I got some green dunks, but they like teal. They not like this deep green color. So, but I'll see how it looks once I put it on. And then I got another puff. Y'all, this puffer season, they buff back and this down, baby. Hold on, I'm trying to get this open. I have so many puffers, I shouldn't even bought this one. And it looks so big. But it's cute. So just a regular pink jacket. You can't go wrong with jackets. I feel like in the wintertime, anything with jacket and whatever type of bottoms will always be a vibe. All right. And then last but not least, y'all, I got this in a large. Couldn't have. It's a jacket. And it's a turtleneck jacket. Oh, your girl must have been going for oversized. Oh, but I can flip the collar down. Let's see how this fit. So that's the only thing. I don't really know what, what what's going to be the vibe in New Orleans. It said it might be rainy. It said it might be a little cool. But I just want to be able to dress to get. Like if I got to take my jacket off and just wear my crop top underneath, that's cool too. And let me know if y'all want to see a vlog for New Orleans. Y'all want do y'all want me to vlog? Oh, this fits good. Look, babes. Yeah, I got this. Oh, and I also got one from H and M. They had the jackets on sale at H and M. Look, babe. It was twenty bucks. I said I don't have no black jean jacket. Why would I pass this up for twenty bucks? Black denim. Okay, babes. But yeah, so that's all I got. So, so far, for sure, I know I'm going to wear that velour set. And I want to wear those cargo pants. And probably with this other crop top that I have. But I also really want to wear this shirt. This shirt probably would look good tucked in some jeans. Baby, do you think this will look good under here? Yeah. Yeah, with some what type of bottoms? I don't got a blue bottom. The blue is that you just saw. The gray, the blue. Bottoms? Yeah. My sweatpants? That you just saw. The sweatpants? Yeah. That one over there? Yeah, bring out the blue. Okay. So I'm thinking about wearing this under here like this. So just in case I if rain and get too cold, I can take this off. Oh yeah, that's cute. That's cute. Okay, y'all. So Drop some suggestions on what y'all think I should mix up and match up. I'm open to all suggestions. And also let me know if y'all want me to vlog in New Orleans. Because I'm going to eat good. I'm going to eat and I'm going to drink good. And it's going to be my first time trying BAs. Every time I go to New Orleans, I always want to try some BAs. But the line is always super duper long and I never want to wait. But this time, I got time. Okay? So, give me one second to put all this stuff up for my mama come home with an attitude. And then, I'm about to announce the giveaway winner. Be right back. Hey, y'all better come up here and get one of these. It's a chicken salad. Y'all, I have been craving sweet peas, so I got some sweet peas, some jasmine rice, and some chicken tenders in my lunchy lunch. These sweet peas are by Libby's. They 60 calories per cup. I think it's on like 8 grams of carbs. 
macro friendly okay but anyways let's go ahead and announce the giveaway so here is what the giveaway was i did a grocery haul a couple of days ago and i said whoever gets the closest amount gets a free nutrition plan and a workout of their choice so i had about nine ladies that was very 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 close and whoever wins i'm gonna leave my email in the details below and you're gonna shoot me an email say hey I'm the winner. Don't be lying talking about you the winner and you ain't the winner because I'm going to find out. Anyway, so once you do that, I'll send you over the details and we'll get you go ahead and get started on your journey. Get your free nutrition plan, your workout plan. Everything's explained, written in detail. And just in case you did not win, we'll have more giveaways in the future. And if you're still interested in getting you a workout or a nutrition plan, I'll leave that in the details below as well. So the winner is... Miss Queen Bates, whoever you are, go ahead and shoot me an email so we can get you your plan ASAP. But yeah, more giveaways soon. Thanks for everybody who participated. I'm going to be doing more grocery hauls because I see that y'all like those grocery hauls. So yeah, I'm going to eat this chicken salad and chill until it's almost time for me to go to work. Okay? Y'all better come up here and get one of these. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that concludes my two-day vlog. I'm about to get ready to go to work soon. And from then, I'm probably just going to eat some chicken fried rice. Or maybe not enough fried rice. Just some chicken. I don't know. Chicken something. Probably another chicken salad. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it was super duper long. I know I said in the previous videos that I wanted to dibble and dabble into some more things. Show y'all more stuff that I am interested in, such as fashion. Y'all see makeup. And I love to travel. So let me know what y'all think about this video. Let me know what, what y'all think about the pieces. If you were the giveaway winner, please contact me ASAP so I can get you started. I thank y'all for all the love and the support, Fit Chicks and Fit Beauties. But y'all already know the truth. With that being said, come back and mess with your girl. Peace out.